Well, you know, it's not often you hear about anybody doing backflips much past the age of 18 or so. That's because I couldn't even do them at like 13. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it makes what's happening at a park and rec gym in the western suburbs even more amazing. Erin Ivory is here now with a story. Do you do a cartwheel for this story or no? No, oh. especially not in heels. <laughs> I'm leaving no, it to the professionals. All right. <laughs> so here's what the story. So Carroll Stream Park District decided to put an adult gymnastics class on its roster. But they never imagined it would reunite a whole team of gymnasts that called that same gym home nearly 30 years earlier. It still was my first love, right? And saying goodbye to your first love is like, oh my God, especially as a kid, the hardest thing to do. It has been 26 years since Amy Aiello donned a gymnastics leotard. Oh, that's me right there in the back. After aging out of her Carroll Stream Park and Rec gymnastics team at 14. Just sobbing because I knew it was, I was done. Never forgetting the memories created in this gym, but also never imagining she'd ever find herself back on the mat. Until a Facebook post from a former teammate. I started telling people about it and posting about it on social media. About a new adult gymnastics class in the exact gym they called home decades ago. To have the opportunity to come back and to have a chance to, to go after some of my unfinished business again is the coolest thing ever. And there's no good reason a 40-year-old person should be doing any of this, none. Uh, especially after like 25, 6, 7 years or whatever it's been. Carroll Stream Park District gymnastics coach Jory Rewart's there to help them relearn what once came naturally. The amazing part about this adult gymnastics is that you can see that the pride that they have in accomplishing a new goal um, or a new skill or something they hadn't done in like 20 something years. Yes, there you go. In the very first day, Jory was helping me relearn how to do a back handspring, and I had it back within. I don't know, 15 minutes or something like that, and I was shocked. Never in a million years did I think I'd be able to do that again, you know? The feeling of joy you can see on their face. I don't know what other time in your life are you really like, every on a weekly basis, pushing yourself, trying new things, having people cheer you on. You come back one time, it's like, you've had the candy. You want more, <laughs> so. Weeks later, the old teammates decided it was time to upgrade their old shooting star team name. Carissa was like, what about Supernovas? And then we all started laughing so hard. It was like, that was it. For me, Tuesday night is a night to come in, escape my life, focus on something that I have always loved, come back to it. And then especially I have like my old family, you know, I get to come back, hang out with my girls. It's therapy. It's like our therapy session. And it's like, oh, that was really scary. And it's because, that's because your brain is like, no, no more <laughs> gymnastics. You're too old. So we, we're pushing, you know, we're really pushing our bodies and our minds to, to go beyond, you know, what it wants to do. Um, I think it means so much more as an adult. It's special. <laughs> As an adult, our lives are hard. We've all got our stuff going on, our, our you know, the heavy stuff. Woo, go Amy! But Tuesday nights. I think when there's so much more positivity, you're able to do so many more things and, you know, you get right back up that much faster. The supernovas take flight, burning brighter than ever. Crazy, right? Yeah. So. If you want to channel your inner gymnast, <laughs> a whole new set of adult classes kick off this week. Plus, Lord, as they are offering a oh. full camp. We could do it, Aaron. We could do somersaults wow. and everything, Lord. Is. Wow, I always saw a fella in there who was doing it too. Yeah, and he just started a couple years ago, had never done gymnastics. Huh. Oh, wow. Right. Is it like so riding? that means there's hope for people like mm -hmm. us. Yeah, is it like riding a bike, though, that you, over, even though it's been 20, 30 years, I, you still kind of remember how to move? Are you asking and how to, me? I don't know. You were <laughs> You're asking good. the wrong lady. It seemed honey. like <laughs> it was, though, he listening <laughs> they to them. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. yeah pretty cool. Right. Pretty I can cool. do one cartwheel, and that's it. You're doing all right then. All right, thanks.